So X-Ocean, um, we design, build and operate a fleet of uncrewed surface vessels. So you see on this slide the, the USV that we currently operate. We have a fleet of approximately 15 of these in operation and we're continuing to build new units. Um, so these USVs are deployed globally depending on the project requirements. We collect ocean data for our customers. Our customers are typically offshore wind, so it could be at the build or maintenance phase of an offshore wind farm um, or oil and gas um, pipelines, perhaps that need to be inspected on the seabed. We also do work for government bodies where they need specific ocean data. So our problem was to take a USV that could be located anywhere in the world and a pilot for that USV who could be in any other location and to, to make sure that the pilot had all the information they needed to safely operate the USV. So that data transfer was a critical part of, of the, the functionality required. We also needed on board intelligence to make uh, steering decisions and other performance decisions on board the USV during normal operations. The previous or the first incarnation of the system um, used a different controls platform and involved several independent packages that uh, left the system very complex and uh, difficult to scale. So the solution we identified was Ignition, essentially. Um, Ignition offered that flexibility that we needed. So with perspective, it freed us to build a, a web-based system with improved functionality and an all-around better user experience. And also the, the architectural security that would come with Ignition um, was a real plus for us. Um, with Ignition and our own agile approach, we could conceptualize new functions and implement them very quickly, uh, get them rolled out to our fleet uh, in a very short period of time. So our platform um, internally is called CyberDeck 2.0. That's our Ignition project. Um, so it uses this web platform then to create our command and control interface for our, our pilots and for all user types within the company. So it allows us to perform over the horizon operations, where, as I mentioned, we have USVs that could be in any location, 100 miles offshore, perhaps, and the pilot uh, sitting warmly in his office at home, and uh, he's able to do the operations required. The solution then was a hub and spoke architecture. Um, so we have Ignition on a centrally uh, Azure VM, and we run Ignition Edge on our USVs on board. We use um, several of the Ignition functions and modules. Um, we use the Ignition user authentication and management tool um, to determine the, the roles of the users as they log in. We've built a series of intuitive interfaces and a lot of functionality in the background using scripting to allow us to safely perform the operations that we need. Um, a really key part of the success of the project was the uh, MQTT modules. So the ignition at the edge, we're using the transmission module and at the Azure side, we're using the uh, ignition MQTT engine module. This really gives us an excellent way of uh, connecting new USVs into the system. First, that discoverability of the MQTT tags is really, really slick approach. Um, and then from our central side, we can just manage things with a, a UDT instance, basically, that's referring to the, the edge node tags. And perspective as a, as a module, we, we went with perspective from day one and um, just feeling that it was the correct correct decision to go with the more modern um, user, user uh, presentation method. And we also use the um, alarm and notification modules, keep pilots fully aware of all uh, operational situations that they need to be aware of. Um, and we've used the, the ignition mapping tool. And we've worked heavily on that and um, we've uh, worked with a external contractor, Max Carrot, there from SCADA Torch on this. We spent a lot of time developing this during the process to uh, give as intuitive an interface as possible for the pilots. So the project scope, um, we roughly have 30,000 tags at the moment. Um, this will keep increasing as we, as we add more USVs into our fleet. We have approximately 30 different displays, um, currently have 50 plus uh, users. 
as the company grows again, that number will keep increasing. Um, alarms currently were more than a thousand alarms. Um, hardware wise on board the, the USV itself, we have an OnLogic IPC, um, Compact Logic PLC, and multiple different communication devices that we need to extract data from. And uh, Ignition's been really, really useful for us there to extract that data, parse it, and get the values written out the tag. So really, really powerful there. On the central architecture, then it's it's hub and spoke as I mentioned. We have uh, Ignition as the central central uh, gateway. We use MySQL as our database type, and we're currently logging really all the data that we're collecting from the USVs. is really powerful for us to have that historical data um, to analyze over time. So just to show some of the displays, then this is our, our typical uh, USV dashboard, command and control dashboard. It's all It all revolves around the, the chart, essentially, because the pilot needs to be aware at all times of where the USV is and what's what's around them. So there's a lot of work went into the, the chart object or the map object there. We can we can draw lanes on that, draw waypoints on that, and use get the USV to navigate along those lanes using a, an onboard autopilot. So that's the core presentation element, and it's uh, front and center for the pilot at all times. We also use a docked left-hand display and a docked top display to allow the user to quickly navigate out to different screens that they may require. We roll up a, a set of the most critical alarm types and critical uh, USB areas on the left-hand side where multiple alarms can, can bubble up through those uh, header groups. And uh, by any of them that have the, the hyperlink, we can navigate to a, a pop-up there will give us more information for the, that particular area. We also have all the buttons that the pilot may need to navigate the USV or to take action on board um, immediately available to them on the left display also. So all some other displays that we have, um, the situational awareness of pilot being able to see what's around them at any stage is really critical to, to operations. So using Ignition and using the MQTT modules, we're able to transfer images through MQTT um, from the USV up to the central ignition gateway, and then to present those images out to the, the pilot on their browser page. It's a key part of, of uh, system safety. Um, we also have, through the historian and the, the, the trending tools available to us, we're able to quickly get access to any tags we need to do trends on, pull in multiple tags, and change our date ranges, all that key stuff very easily. The data usage is another key part of the system. And you can see the top right there, we're able to trend our, our data usage. MQTT gives us great information on that um, in terms of how many bytes have been transferred. So we're able to, with, with great granularity, get into the detail of what part of the system is using data. Um, the bottom right display then is, is a, a BNC session that we're able to trigger from Ignition also um, present out to the user on a on a browser page, and that's showing the, the survey software that's uh, running in the background to collect the data at really, really high density. So the results have been a great success for, for XOcean. Um, really, in the course of six months, we were able to develop the Central Ignition Gateway project and the EDGE projects that we require on board the USV um, and get them into operation on our first USV. Um, in approximately four to five months after that, then we were able to convert our entire fleet over to Ignition, and we're now fully um, Ignition integrated with all, all USVs and all new USVs uh, being added to the platform. So it's given us a really scalable platform and secure platform, and it puts us on a sound footing as we continue to grow our fleet.